Welcome to File Management and Capturing in Final Cut Pro. First, make sure you make a folder that will hold all files for the project you will be working on. Remember to name the folder with the date first, then something descriptive. I will name this folder 8-12-09 Login Capture Sample. Next, open Final Cut Pro found in the dock or in applications. Once open, save the project file in the folder you made for this project. You will need to set the scratch disk which is the place where your video file is saved on the hard drive. To set the scratch disk, go to the Final Cut Pro menu and click System Settings. Next, go to the Scratch Disk tab at the top of the pop-up and then click Set at the top right of that menu. Navigate to the folder you made for the project and click Choose. Remember, this is where the video file is stored on the hard drive. You are finished setting the scratch disk and can close the window. Next we can connect the mini DV deck or camera to the computer to capture a clip of video shot on mini DV tape to our scratch disk. First we will plug a camera or deck to our computer with a firewire cable. Most cameras and decks use a 4 pin to 6 pin cable that is keyed. So make sure you note the shape of the plug and match it to the ports on the machines. The camera or deck should be powered down before plugging it to the computer, and after it is plugged in, turn it on. Make sure you select play mode on the camera, or have the input switches in the deck selecting DV, which stands for digital video. Once on and initialized, the camera or deck becomes a controllable device by the computer. This means the controls in Final Cut's log and capture window will be used to operate the camera or deck, and Audio and video will play through the selected input and output. To initialize the camera or deck, open the log and capture window by clicking File, Log and Capture, or hit Command 8. Check the bottom of the preview window to see if you have successfully initialized the deck. It should say VTR OK. You will see two major areas, the preview window and the logging clip settings and capture settings tabs. Logging is labeling clips of footage and storing them in a log bin. The log bin, by default, is named by the project's file name. So if your log bin is untitled, you should go back to the file menu and select Save Project As to name it. The fields on the right side of the window can be filled in according to each shot on the tape. Descriptive logs and bins help the editor choose the best takes and can describe any other helpful information about the clip. This type of information speeds up production workflow on larger productions. For simple productions, one bin will be fine. Larger productions may require more descriptive bins. You can make multiple bins to put clips in by clicking the New Bin button on the right side of the log bin area. The current log bin is shown in the Log and Capture window and has a video slate next to the bin name in the browser. This shows you which bin the clip will be stored in. The bin can be renamed in the browser. Select the bin you want the clip to be stored in in the Log and Capture window. In this case, it will be in the 8-12-09 Log and Capture Sample bin. I will also add a descriptive label. We'll call it Sample. Next, use the Transport controls 
to play, stop, rewind, and fast forward the media on the tape. You will cue the tape to the footage you want to log and capture using these controls. You can also use the shuttle control to fast forward or rewind while watching the video or the jog control to move the video frame by frame. If you would like to simply capture everything shot on the tape, go to the beginning of the footage, press play, then press capture now. The clip will be captured on the scratch disk from the time you click capture now until the end of the footage where the recording and time code stops. When finished, press Escape, then close the Log and Capture window. The clip will be stored in the bin and named by the description. Instead of capturing all the footage shot, you may want to capture only select pieces of the footage as clips. You can do this by logging multiple clips, then batch capturing. First use transport controls to cue the beginning point of the footage you want to convert to a clip. Click the Mark In button and that point will be stored as timecode. Find the end of the video you want to log and then click the Mark Out button. This will store the timecode out point. When the in and out points are set correctly, click the Log Clip button and the clip will be logged in the selected bin with the description as the clip name. You can see this clip in the browser. Notice the icon has a red line through it. This means the media has not been captured yet. You can continue to log clips using the same process for the rest of the footage and batch capture all the logged clips by clicking the batch capture button. A new dialog box will appear giving you the option to change which items you would like captured or change presets. We're going to select all items in the logging bin. When finished, choose OK and click Continue to begin batch capturing. Once all the footage has been batch captured onto the scratch disk, you can close the log and capture window and begin working with the clips in the browser. 